Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this video, this video blog. Uh, I, uh, it's, it's in the middle of the night, but I want to share these ideas with you. And the idea is that um, your beliefs create a self-fulfilling prophecy, which you believe in what you hold as true creates a self-fulfilling prophecy whether it is true or not and um, I want you to imagine the self-fulfilling the self-fulfilling prophecy as uh, uh, th I want you to imagine this okay and imagine that you are a projector and um, the image that you project uh, that is your reality okay the image that you project that's your reality and uh, in order to change the reality you do not change the projector and you do not change the image as identifying with something within the image you uh, merely shift the lens on the projector and the lens is your belief system you change you do not really change the belief system itself but you change your beliefs and how do you change your beliefs you change what you believe in so how do you change what you believe in it's sort of like asking how do you drop a pen on the floor you know you decide to drop the pen on the floor you decide to believe in something else and it's not really about believing, it's not adding, it's like adding up positive beliefs or something like that. It's about eradicating the limiting beliefs. And uh, that will be enough. Um, so, um, let's say that you want to, you want to be attractive, you want to be an attractive person. Or that's not a good example. It's something else. Let's 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 take like financial abundance. You want to have financial abundance, okay? In order to have financial abundance, you first gotta believe that you can have financial abundance. It's not that you first have financial abundance, and then you can believe in it. You believe in it, and then you see it believing is seeing it's the same thing as could take anything as example uh, let's take somebody like uh, Usain Bolt um, this guy why is he the fastest runner you know because he believes he can run really really fast I mean it, it's really that uh, I mean there are other aspects to it but it's mainly because he has that strong conviction, of firm belief in himself that enables him to to be that good. And uh, if you ask him, that's basically what he what 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 he's gonna say. I mean, he's gonna, of course, it comes down to practice stuff like that. But it's really come. It starts with the belief that I can do this. You know. And, it, and that's just an example in any area and, and it's like how did David Beckham become a good soccer player it started off with him believing he can be a good soccer player and then he and that led to possibilities opportunities hard work etc and then he you know became a good uh, soccer player but it all started off with that belief that firm conviction and it's the same with anything in any endeavor, any area of your life, whether it's, you know, money, in intimacy, uh, in uh, social life, anything that you, it starts with the belief, the firm idea that this can be done, I can do it. And then in the process of doing what you really want to do, what excites you the most, you will naturally find out your limitations like and it's not even and by finding out that it's, it's not even your limitations it's just limitations and there are choices so you can choose to it's it's you, you start off by simply 
if something is blocking you, uh, the first thing you do is basically that you understand that you have chosen this to block you. That's taking responsibility for it. And then believing, choosing something else. Choosing to believe that it's possible, you know. And um, this and this, this could this can be anything. You could apply anything to this. Really, there are no excuses because the only limitations in your life the one are the ones you make yourself. Really, that's. I mean, that's just how it is. Like you could argue, you could complain, you could this and that all the time, but it comes down to your own choice. So. Believing is seeing. When you believe that you can, you see the possibility, you see the opportunity, you see the po you see that it's possible. Uh, if you believe that you can't, you'll, you'll see that you can't, and then you won't even try. But if you believe that you can, you will see the you will see the open window, and you'll go. And how do you believe? It's like yeah, you believe. You 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 decide to basically, and in doing what you want you'll find out what lim uh, your limiting beliefs and you can eradicate those and um, it's really like also like let's say you want to become in a certain way you want to be a certain person like if you're if you're not unhappy with the reality you see instead of trying to instead of believing that you, you could you you're gonna change yourself you can the the uh, the uh, it's better to change your beliefs because who you are is who you are you are eternal being changeless spirit you're not gonna change um, who you are in essence it's not gonna change so um, it's better to just stay grounded in that in eternity and then change your beliefs and that will automatically instantly immediately change the reality you see so imagine like looking into a mirror right you don't you don't expect the reflection to change you first move and then the reflection changes you know what i'm saying and um that's the same thing with your beliefs uh imagine like changing your beliefs is sort of like changing your position in the mirror the reflection the reality the world you see what you project is automatically going to change as you change your beliefs, but the projector itself is not due to change. Um, it's not change. It's not meant to be changed. So, um, something else I thought of maybe. Um, yeah, decide what. Decide who you want to be and realize you are you are already that person. Let's say you want to be like you have a vision of who you want to be. Let's say, and sure you can strive, you can have make goals, you can try to better yourself, become a better person, so to speak. But you are already yourself. Who you are in essence is not going to change, but you can still you know evolve, expand, you are already that person who you want to be, but you got to set your mind to it and uh, believe that it's possible, believe that you can, then you will see the possibility or the opportunities and the how, how it's going to be done will reveal itself automatically once you have conviction in the possibility of, of doing it, of of it being that way um, and uh, the how yeah the how will reveal itself and and um, you are already that which you want to become you are what you seek um, so it's not a matter of changing yourself it's a matter of changing your your uh, your beliefs your beliefs dictate your perception of reality um, so um, yeah, like um, if if you wanna if you want something in let's say one area of our life like um, finances or intimacy, it's good to write that down, and then you know really write it down. Like, this is what I really really want. You know, 
even if it's not even if it seems like well how could this be possible with the circumstances of the life situation I'm in right now you write that down and then you'll find out your limitations because there are no really there really are no limitations you know except the ones you choose and you can choose to hold on to them for safety for comfort for um, feelings of being you know at home so to speak like you some familiar something that's familiar and um, yeah I mean it's um, it's really pretty easy to uh, understand like it's the self-actualization process is pretty straightforward you know and uh, it's really fun stuff as well you know like really it's possible to live your dream to actualize your vision it's really it it really is possible it really can be done what you want really can be manifested whatever it is like it's a matter of belief it's a matter of faith and it's a matter of reason i think it's a matter of the uh re uh, and it's also a matter of not taking the matter in your own hands too much and trusting in the universe trusting that what you want is coming you don't have to push for it push 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 and force you don't have to put in that much effort you can simply you know let it come to you let it flow to you uh, because the universe wants to flow in certain ways and um and uh, yeah like um you can attract what you want simply by belief and it's a matter of also matter matter of reason what's the reason what like reason is not something you can control it's something you sort of grow into but um it's sort of like where is this coming from internally the, the action i'm taking is this coming from fear? Is this coming from a wanting to fit in? Is this coming from wanting of approval? Is this coming from uh, not wanting to be alone? Or is this coming merely, merely from joy, merely from unity, from uh, from love, from from uh, basic? Uh, this is this is what I want to do. Sort of feeling. Um, and that that takes time. That takes. Uh, experience to grow into that sort of um, understanding of uh, the reason understanding of why you are doing what you're doing uh, once you start and, and then we have when you have faith in in doing it, it's, it's a matter of belief and faith and it's a matter of doing things um, for the mere sake of doing it and and having belief in it and faith in it, you know, faith and belief goes hand in hand to me, but really having conviction and, and, and then the reality that you want, it will manifest, you will see and you will have all different type, kinds of surprises and synchronicities, opportunities and things will just happen in a way that really anything is possible, like I've experienced things that I once thought was like really, you know, just just a few years ago, like, wow, I would never imagine experiencing things like this. And my aspirations, my my dream, my passion, it just keeps expanding, you know. And and uh, I may seem pretty uninspired and unmotivated right now. It's just because I'm tired. Uh, I've been on a four-day hike. But um, it's... It's really possible to anything, you know, anything you can do, anything you want. Like, it's, um, you can experience things that you never thought were possible. There are no, really no limits to what you can do and, and be an experience. Uh, some, some of the things I've experienced in life has really been really heart moving, deeply mind blowing experiences. Like, wow, really, wow. Uh, uh so, don't um, settle for anything less you know don't settle for anything less than, than what you deep down in your heart of heart know that you are that you deserve that you want that you know is possible because you know it's possible you know that dream you have is possible and there really is no other choice you know what I'm saying you can postpone you can 
postpone, you can, like, you know, push, push it, push it, but there really is no other choice than living that deep, following that passion, living that dream, answering to that calling, you know what I'm saying? There really is no other option than, than doing that. There, there is another option, but that, that's not going to last, so you can, you can do it now, you know what I'm saying? It's, you better, you, like, do it now what you want, and maybe I'm sort of in this headspace of assuming that you're not doing what you want to do, I'm sort of like talking to myself in one sense because I've had been having some troubles with that lately. But um, really, when you when you decide to set your standards higher, you you you're, you're doing other people a favor and and uh, really not settling for anything less than what you're worth. It's the greatest gift you can give yourself. So. That's what I want to use, remind you of today, uh, share this with you, and I hope you have a good, awesome day, and uh, I'd love comments, I love feedback, and you could also check out my private coaching if you like, uh, I'm doing private coaching, and um, yeah, we could talk more in depth about anything you like, basically, uh, I'm not, yeah, uh, some we could email if you're interested in that um i'm gonna go to bed now thanks for checking this out i hope you found something interesting here and uh, take care